Welcome back. In this segment, we're talking about the immune response. And to lead this off, let's uh, define a couple of things here. So non-self recognition is critical to being able to recognize invaders into our bodies and our bodies mount an immune response to those specific foreign substances that may be invading. So whenever you have an invader, they're going to be constantly releasing materials or there's going to be surface proteins on these invaders that's going to tell the body that whatever that invader is, is non-self. And those substances are protein, generally proteins, and they're called antigens. So they usually have a molecular weight of over 3,000, uh, and they are found, again, on the surface of the invaders or in materials that are being shed by the invaders. Okay, and these uh, antigens are going to mediate the immune response because there are immune cells out there, in particular B cells, that have what are called antigen, antibodies on their surface. And these antibodies can intercept antigens. And that will uh, identify those invaders to the immune system that they need to mount an immune response. And so with that, let's take a look at what an antibody looks like. So on antibodies, you have uh, two identical light chains or molecules that are chained together and they form these Y shapes. So these antibodies have these, these Y shaped with a, a heavy and a light chain and these have specific binding sites on the ends that will bind to, any, to a, an antigen or to a protein that's found on the surface of invaders or that will bind to materials that are being shed off of those invaders. Okay, and so this specific antigen binding site is found on B cells, which are produced in our bodies and are part of our immune response. And let's go ahead and take a look at what a sequence of events would look like that has this response. So in this instance, you're seeing that this is an invading microbe and it's shedding particles or antigens off of its surface. Again, there's millions of these uh, white blood cells, particularly these B cells, that have these antibody surfaces. And if one of these bind uh, to the antigen, then it is taken inside and incorporated within the B cell and the B cell form structures outside that have this antigen on them. These, uh, these complexes can be recognized by T cells. And these T cells, if you remember, are produced by in the lymphatic system, in those lymphatic nodes via those pluripotent cells. And these T cells are extremely critical to the immune response. These T cells, upon binding with this epitope complex put out by the B cells, will release cytokines. And these cytokines will initiate a cascade of events that lead to the B cells growing and differentiating. These B cells will differentiate into memory cells as well as plasma cells. The memory cells are long living cells that will uh, be present in the body and will help to mount any future immune responses when this antigen may be encountered again. While the plasma cell uh, forms and secretes antibodies that will, will circulate within the bloodstream and within the body and will basically tag the invading microbes for phagocytosis by these larger macrophage uh, white blood cells. Okay, and so just so we can reinforce this information, let's go ahead and draw this. So you have an invading microbe that have these proteins on their surface, and they're shedding these proteins into the extracellular fluid of the body. 
These antigens, again, can bind to the structures on the B cells. And once that occurs, they can be incorporated into the B cell, and the B cell will have an epitope complex with this antigen on it. And this can be off several surfaces. And if this is uh, recognized by a T cell, okay, and so these T cells will have a receptor that will recognize this. These T cells, again, will initiate this cascade of events by releasing cytokines. So cytokines are basically molecules that are produced by the T cells that uh, facilitate communication for the immune response. Okay, so there's ha they are how the, the immunity cells communicate. So when this occurs, you can have differentiation of the B cells into memory cells. And remember that memory cells remain in the body and they're very long lived and if they encounter these antigens again, they can very quickly respond and rapidly multiply in order to produce additional plasma cells. Okay, and again these plasma cells produce the uh, antibodies that can tag any invaders and basically mark them for phagocytosis. by macrophages. Okay, so this is the basic immune response mediated by antigens and antibodies. And this is really the basis for uh, our vaccination programs where you artificially uh, inject these antigens to get B cells to respond and produce these memory cells that if the uh, person who's been vaccinated, if these memory cells are present and they encounter the, the real live uh, virus, then they will automatically uh, bump up an immune response to take care of it. All right, and with that, thank you very much, and that's all for this segment. We'll see you next time.